Today I'm going to open the Evolving Powers Premium Collection Box. It comes with 10 promo cards, 7 booster packs, and an acrylic V-Star marker, but is it worth the money? Well hey everybody, Rhino here, and yeah, I'm going to open the Evolving Powers Premium Collection Box today. When I first saw it at my local Target back in November of 2023, it was retailing for $60 per collection. Now that may not seem like much, but there's only 7 booster packs in here, which means that the booster packs were something like $9 per pack. That's a ridiculously high number, and I passed on it right away. I actually chuckled a little bit as I walked on by. Fast forward to today, and I see it for sale for $40 now, which is a bit more reasonable, $5 per pack. So I went ahead and picked it up. Let's see what we get inside these seven booster packs. But before we get into that, if you haven't subscribed to the Rare Rhino Gaming channel yet, please consider doing so. We're making our way up to 1,000 subscribers, and I'd love to have you along for the ride. I release new videos every Monday and Friday, along with shorts all throughout the week, so there's tons of Pokemon card pack opening videos and retro gaming videos for you to enjoy. And without further delay, let's crack some packs. Well, so here's the box as it looks here. It says it's got 10 promo cards in it, 7 boosters, and an acrylic V-Star marker. So those are kind of cool. I only see 6 uh, promos on the front, so I'm wondering what some of the other promos are hiding in here. I also see uh, Scarlet and Violet era packs. I see a few uh, Sword and Shield era packs in here. So let's just open this thing up. So it is a fairly hefty box. It has 7 booster packs in it, but let's see what those promo cards are. We've got the 6 on the front here of the Magnazone, Magnazone V-Star... Magnazone EX and Gardevoir, Gardevoir V Max and Gardevoir EX. But on the back side, yep, there we go. So they gave you one Magnemite and one Magneton so you can make the Magnazone. And then you've got the Ralts and Curlia so you can make the Gardevoir. That's uh, not too bad. Pretty cool. I'm going to leave the promos in here though. I'll sneak out the code card for you guys. There you are. Enjoy. So I went ahead and put this back together, pulled all the booster packs out. I'm going to keep those cards together. None of them are actually promos, which is kind of interesting. They're all, um, you know, just Cosmo Hollows. But the packs that you get in here are a pair of Astral Radiance booster packs, a couple of Paldea Evolve booster packs, and three Obsidian Flames. Now, me and Obsidian Flames, we have a, uh, a storied relationship here. I wonder if you're going to throw another Hollow Clay Doll at me again today. We'll find out. Maybe I'll get something good this time. Maybe this will be my day. But I'm going to start with the oldest packs first. Astral Radiance, let's dive in. Now what I like about Astral Radiance is, uh, like some of the other later Sword and Shield uh, sets, if you, even if you get that white code card, you have a shot at a Trainer Gallery. And those can still be worth a little bit of money. Um, they're also really, really cool looking. I don't know if you've um, seen a lot of Trainer Galleries. Maybe you rejoined Pokemon Trading Cards right around the uh, Scarlet and Violet era, but hey, Radiant Heatran, that's not a bad looking card. I've had him a few different times, but these Radiant cards are always cool. Set that aside, and we'll look at Astral Radiance number two. Would love to get a nice big illustration rare or a trainer gallery. Those are usually the most beautiful cards in these sets. Although, you know, even just looking at Cyndaquil here, the artwork is still pretty awesome. We do have that black code card, which is an indication there's at least a hollow in here. Doesn't mean we can't get a trainer gallery, but um, the black code card indicates there will at least be a hollow in here. Bastiodon. Okay. Not a super rare card, but still kind of cool. So nothing doing from Astral Radiance. Let's check out Paldea Evolved. Now, I recently kind of started looking at Paldea Evolved again. When it first came out, I thought it was kind of a nothing set. I was like, I don't really, I'm not that interested in Paldea Evolved. They had all of these ETBs everywhere. They were for sale for like nothing. And uh, I didn't really jump on them. Now, looking back, I'm really liking this set. I went ahead and found myself another ETB for it. Elite Trainer Box and a oh, Mimikyu. That's kind of neat. Uh, I found another Elite Trainer Box for it and, you know, bought that up. I'm excited to open that up at some point, but I'm trying to build up a little bit more of a Paldea Evolved collection. Um, they've got some really good special cards in there. The, um, the illustrators are just beautiful. And the cards are actually really playable as well. So um, if you're somebody who's interested in playing, you can make some really awesome decks. Ooh, I almost pulled the four. This is not Sword and Shield. This is a Scarlet Violet set. You only have to pull the one card to the front. That's the card trick. Now, uh, if you're really interested in making um, a good deck, Paldea Evolved has some 
awesome cards that can really be useful. We get... Yeah, Alright, so, so far I've only gotten hollow rares. Nothing too fabulous, and that means outside of Radiant Heatran, I'm relying on Obsidian Flames. Longtime viewers of the channel will know and will recognize that me and Obsidian Flames, they always seem to throw clay dolls at me. I am wanting that, uh, that secret illustration Charizard. That would be fantastic and amazing, and I'll take it all back if it gives it to me, but... I am fully expecting one of these three packs to just be a hollow clay doll, because that's what I get. Every time. It makes me cry, and I wonder why it's attacking me. But we'll see if that happens again this time. Down store and Gita. Huh. All right, nothing doing in the first pack of Obsidian Flames. I would love, 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 love to get one of those ultra rare cards. You know, an illustration, ultra rare. I, at this point, I'd love to open up the booster pack. I'm having some troubles here. We'll see. And what can we pull from the next Obsidian Flame pack? You know, if you're if you're wondering, am I seeing this being a worthwhile um, collection? You got a great set of packs here, but I haven't been getting anything from them. I am having some regrets. <laughs> hey, look, it's Gita no, no, again. No, no, no. <laughs> You know, I get her almost as much as I get Claydol. My first hit from Obsidian Flames was actually the, uh, the, the secret rare uh, Gita, which was nice, but now I'm getting all of her regular variants, and it's like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't play that much Scarlet and Violet, so I don't even know how important that character is. I probably need to play more of that to really figure it out, but if I remember right, isn't she... Uh... I called it. I flip and called it, you guys. Hey, a Toad Screw EX, though. I did end up getting a hit. It's just that uh, <laughs> I got my clay doll, too. <sighs> but this Toad Screw's not too bad. And so here are all the cards I ended up getting today. Now, these cards all together are worth a little over $6. So nothing too great. Definitely did not get my money back from this uh, collection. But... Um, you know, I had fun opening them. These are nice looking cards, and they are some of them. They're cards that I don't currently have, like the Magnazone and the Gardevoir here. Those are really cool looking cards. However, you know, you take the $5 worth of cards that were included in there away from the $39.99. That means I spent, for those seven booster packs, about $35. Bucks. So $5 a pack, not a great deal, especially considering I only got two hits out of the set. But who knows, maybe you'll have better luck than me, and maybe you looked at this and said, hey... Those packs look like exactly what I'm hunting for, so. And so that'll just about do it for me today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please consider leaving a like on this video, share this video with your friends, and help spread the word of Rare Rhino Gaming. Drop a comment down below. Do you think I blew my money on this one, or did I just have bad luck? And again, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. We're working our way towards a 1,000 subscribers, and I'd love it if you were one of them. I hope you have a wonderful and fabulous rest of your day. I'll see you later. Rhino, out.